It was nice to finally get the car on track and then people could hear it, see it. Um, and for me, it's been a long journey because I've, I've seen it in the workshop. It's been slowly progressing, being you know from a roll cage to putting an engine in, to putting the mechanicals in, to putting the body of work on it. And now, obviously, yeah, it's great to be able to drive the car. And uh, to be honest, so far, it's been going really good. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, it's all becoming real. It's the first day on track in the car. You know, the launch event was awesome. Super cheap. They did a fantastic job. The event was awesome. And yeah, today we get to do the real fun stuff and get behind the wheel and have a proper skid. So yeah, very happy. Well, today's a little bit more about Zane, to be honest, because Zane's obviously going to be running in Darwin in a couple of weeks' time. So giving Zane a lot of time in the car, which is really good, gets him familiar with not only the car, but the philosophy of what Triple Eight and how we run the team. I'm used to that side of it, so it's just getting sane up to speed. But there's a number of things like you know pit stops, driving in and out of the pit bay, getting into pit lane, doing starts. He'll be he'll be doing all that over the course of today, just to get his head around what he's going to be encountering when he gets to Darwin. Yeah, I think the initial bit was definitely sort of shaking down the car, and then yeah, I've done the majority of the running today, just getting ready for Darwin. Uh, obviously, that's only two weeks away. We only get the one test, so. Um, yeah, just trying to maximise and cram as much into the day as possible. And then I'm sure the other test days, you know, okay, get more, more of a run. So thanks for him for letting me have the majority of the running today. So. It's been really nice to sort of bring back the old days, of the, like the old VT days where the car moves around more. Um, you know, you do make changes to the car and the car does respond, but then it's trying to find that sweet point. And I think there's no doubt that listening to both Shane and Brock and the way that they've been talking about the car, over this year it definitely is doing that like it's a bit loose under brakes going in the entry to corners you get a bit of mid, mid corner push and then you get a bit oversteer on the exit but there's for that for me is more like the old late 90s when the car used to do that like that's just a byproduct of what we've built uh, and again it's just allowing us now to race closer be you know, uh, have better racing and i think that's really good for the whole category It's definitely a little bit looser in the high speed compared to the ZB, um, which is good fun, you know, we like the cars moving around. It looks like from the races that I've watched, I haven't been involved in it yet, but it's definitely made the racing a bit closer, so it's definitely hit that target. Uh, and then in the low speed, you notice a little bit less weight, it sort of, yeah, handles a bit different, but it still feels like a supercar, which I think is the most important thing, it still has that DNA, so yeah, I think supercars are pretty much hit on the head, it's, yeah, it's a nice car. Zane's obviously very a good campaigner. He's been in, in the main game for a couple of years. Unfortunately, he lost his drive. He's been a co-driver since then. So all that you know bodes well for us. Doing the Darwin one, I think it's going to be really good for him to get his head around it. As I said, starts, drivers, start rubbing shoulders again. And then, of course, you know, having sand out on, on the calendar this year is also going to help us because it is a lead into Bathurst. Uh, we've had some great success at Sandown. Zane's, Zane said he's not been there, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how he adapts. But again, getting the cars to ride the curbs at Sandown is this is going to be really important to make sure we get that right. I think mine and Super Chief's goal is to try get back into the main game. You know, they've done it for the past two drivers, so trying to make three for three. So I guess that's the goal. But um, yeah, for now, it's just sort of focus on this. You know, I've got three race minutes coming up this year, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, just going to try and maximise each time I'm in the car. and. No, it will happen, it will happen, but um, yeah, if I can get back onto the grid full time, you know, maybe it's be awesome. I think it's always important and it's, it's great when you've got multiple cars running around for a team and, and to have ours uh, running around today and for Darwin, for Zane, I think it's going to be really important to have that database, collective database, you know, improve that side of it, to have three drivers at a race weekend under the, under the same conditions. We're all very similar the way we read the car, so that's really good for us in the sense of knowing whatever Brock does or Shane does, it's going to work for Zane or vice versa. So that's going to be really important to get that right. And again, then we get into the enduro side of it. Again, we'll be swapping data and, and changing information and trying to fast track getting the car right. Because if we can get the car right, um, it makes our life, driver's life, hell of a lot easier.